While many bones patients adjust well to their bone injuries and show remarkable resilience, it is important to acknowledge that the recovery from a bone injury can be a lengthy and stressful process. Initially, most people show some trauma reactions, such as re-experiencing the burn in form of intrusive memories and nightmares. They might not sleep well, they might have difficulty to settle and experience a lot of stress in their body. Most of these reactions resolve spontaneously over time and it is important to normalize these reactions. Some of our patients continue to experience intense emotional reactions after leaving the hospital and there can be a late onset of psychological problems once the acute stage of burns treatment is completed. Similar to the treatment of the physical injury, it is important to think about psychological support upon discharge. The following video will illustrate several of these points and provide some guidance for clinicians to recognize and support patients who may be facing challenges in their psychological recovery. Talking through the experience with a professional is important, as trauma is a bit like an undigested meal. We need to build a complete story so that we can integrate the experience. And having someone to talk to and you know, support network and being able to contact yourself or the hospital really helped. Um, and it was only, I think it only took a few sessions and and, and, it, and it changed a lot for me and, and, and basically got me back on track and yeah, it made, made a big difference to the whole situation and the experience that I went through. People frequently blame themselves for their actions or feel guilty about what has happened. Revisiting the experience in therapy helps to understand our reactions and the full context. Just concentrating on 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 the on the incident itself mm -hmm. and, and and understanding what happened and and why and for what reason and mm -hmm. probably clearing my head of any I guess blame or, or mm -hmm. wrongdoing. Um, at the end of the day, no one else was hurt apart from myself. Yeah. Um, but I didn't understand that completely. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, talking through the, the the experience and the situation and, and, and going sort of over it step by step mm -hmm. really helped clear up the whole situation in my mind where, yeah. where I thought it was clear within one or two sessions of coming back yeah. to see you, like it made a massive difference. Often the right time for psychology is after discharge from hospital when people try to resume their normal life activities. Certainly six to eight weeks later, mm -hmm. things have settled down and I think that's when I sort of struggled a bit with more with the emotional side. Mm -hmm. I think because you're going through a certain experience when you're in the hospital um, and you've got you know, a lot of doctors or nurses seeing you and, and a lot going on, that that's all you concentrate on at the time. Yeah. And then even probably, you know, I had to come back for some skin drafts and that was that was the thing that I focused on at that point. Mm -hmm. But it was once those, the, the um, physical wounds were starting to heal yeah. and I was probably getting back to some, you know, normal life and work and family life, that the emotional side sort of came out and that's when I felt I probably needed someone Difficult life experiences, past and current mental health concerns, or a stressful lifestyle can increase the likelihood of psychological challenges after a burn injury. 
I live a pretty stressful, like, mm. yeah, high sort of intensity, so I, I've got to be mm. highly involved job this. Mm. So I've, I've sort of gone through some things before, mm. you know, with some, you know, maybe with some anxiety or depression or things like that. So mm. I wasn't completely surprised, but okay. I was probably surprised at how hard it hit me, if that mm. makes sense. Yeah. Like, it, it hit me a lot harder than I thought. When a burn injury occurs, the ability for the individual and their family to manage socially and financially needs to be considered in the recovery process. Yeah, it's yeah, probably a little bit hard. Like Rachel obviously had a lot on her plate mm. when it happened. Um, and that was probably my number one concern. But she had a lot of good friends around her, so mm. she's probably um, well she's very lucky in that regard, like a lot of family and friends that sort of rallied around and yeah. helped with the kids and mm. helped with uh, you know, even just dropping off some food and shopping and yeah. different bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, and, and the kids, the kids seem to be pretty resilient, like they yeah. cope pretty well with the whole thing. Yeah. Struggled a little bit with me not being home and leaving me here, but, mm. but so I, I think, you know, we're probably pretty lucky. We've got a good support network with mm. friends and family because I've got a job that's flexible. Mm. Um, I mean, I, I can plan my day around this and see customers and look at jobs and, okay. and, and, and work it. So. I'm very fortunate in that regard. Emotional responses can be a wake up call and help us to reevaluate what is important, adopt a healthier lifestyle, and have a better work life balance. Yeah, I've knocked back the hours a little bit and I'll try and get home a little bit early for the kids and then, you know, when I leave later and take them to school or whether I finish earlier and, and pick them up and a and couple of things like that. And probably, yeah, I've done that for, for the kids and for myself, a mm. bit more sort of time for myself, but yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah, I've tried to, tried to do that and tried to probably be a little bit healthier and exercising again and, and back on the push bike and mm. doing a bit of pedaling and with the kids and with the wife. So yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah.